Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friend. Bayani here. Today we're gonna show you guys a, a trick how to stop a squeak floor. And now we're just gonna use some PL400 and we're gonna do it from the bottom because this floor is already finished. So we're just gonna show you here and let's go down and get it done. Yes, the reason the floor is creaked, this is an old floor and then the nails become loose with the time. And then when we step on it, they are movement up and down and then that movement make it squeak. Once we use the glue, a casanel stop the movement and then the floor stops quick because this guys when it's dry become hard as a rock so let's get it done hello guys we are here just underneath where we're gonna stop that squeak and uh, let's rock and roll <laughs> all we do is just uh, some glue doesn't have to be like a I just put it right there, see, it goes on the gap. And uh, we just get it done. And just, since I'm up here, I'm just gonna do whatever I'm in here. So I'm just gonna get as much as I can. So like you guys can see, the glue would go in and act as a nail. It works pretty good. Like you guys can see right on. Yeah, I will come here, this side here. I'm just gonna do like I'm not going, see? You don't have to go all the way down because uh, once you have uh, some in there, like, in space, it would just be hard. Like you guys can see in there, I'm gonna show you. You see, probably the, some of the snails not even hold very much on their joists. Those things they will move, right? And the glue just uh, make it work. Yes, like uh, we have the the whole floor we. We done the whole floor, the entire basement. We just left this part here to show you guys how it is done. So everything on this floor is done with the glue. Here we have a piece of isolation. I'm just gonna bring it down and then I put it back just to make sure that uh, I'm gonna get right to the corner everywhere on it. And I think it's a good idea to wear a glove because this glue is stick very good. And the um, other thing is uh, if you have uh, pipes, wires, just try not to let the glue, the glue touch it because we never know the reaction. Some of this glue, they are they corroded. So if you have wire or plastic stuff, don't, uh, don't touch it with the glue. And we go from there, and gloves is a good idea. guys thank you very much for watch this video and we're gonna have a great stuff coming up and uh, keep your eyes open if you have questions let us know on the specific stuff we'll be here to answer and uh, I love you guys thank you for your support see you in next video